Hello everyone, welcome to Joanna Lemiches and today I would like to show you the Lasker trap named after Emmanuel Lasker who was a German chess player, mathematician and philosopher and world chess champion for 27 years between 1894 and 1921. The opening for this trap is the Queen's Gambit decline Albine counter gambit. White starts off with d4, black replies d5, c4 and black counters the center with e5. White here plays d takes e5 and black plays d4. Play then continues with e3, bishop b4 check and white defends the check with their bishop. Even though black's bishop is hanging, black ignores that and plays d takes e3 and white will fall into this trap if they take on b4. It seems white has won a bishop but black is about to create serious problem for white. Black plays e takes f2 check and if the king captures the pawn, black captures the queen and has a sizable lead in material. Therefore, white is forced to play king e2 and black's pawn takes on g1 and under promotes to a knight and checks. In this position, if white's rook captures black's knight, black has another smart idea up their sleeve. Bishop g4, securing the king and queen. So going back to this position, white's king need to move to e1 and black's queen moves to h4 check. King d2. After this, black plays a simple developing move, developing their knight to c6, attacking white's bishop. Please note that white cannot still capture the knight because black's queen can play d4 winning the rook. So going back to these positions, black's idea is to develop their bishop and castle queenside. This is an excellent position for black as white is down in material and white's king is exposed to black's pieces. I'm sure all of you will be more than happy to play this position for black. I hope you enjoyed this video. Try this out in your blitz game and see how you go. Please subscribe to our channel, like and comment our videos and bye for now.